Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining tonight. This is your host Nino and in today's episode I would like to present you the cheapest computer I ever bought which I didn't, you know, get for free. So this one is an EEE PC model 701 4G. My customary <laughs> netbook for many experiments and this one I got for 7 euro 50. And when it arrived, I realized why the seller had put it in as defect. While well, the general function of the netbook was present and it would boot up, its keyboard was a dark orange mess. Way darker than what you see here. And it was absolutely non-functional. In other words, to operate the netbook, you either needed to buy a replacement keyboard assembly, which would normally cost twice as much as the unit, so it's absolutely not cost effective, or you could use an external keyboard. And then I thought, how about trying to fix things and washing the keyboard? Evidently, it came from the household of a heavy smoker, and there is even a little burn mark here on the S. Not sure whether you're seeing it clearly enough. But anyway, yeah, that it is what it was. It looked as if you would get cancer just from touching it. So I decided to give the whole thing a good cleanup and in particular to bath the, the keyboard in alcohol. Well, having said that, let's look at the details of how to get this thing out, bath it in alcohol, reassemble it and Try it out to see whether this has helped indeed. First, let's have a look what you need to do in order to remove the unit's keyboard. So, on the upper rim of the keyboard, there are three little legs or pins. With a screwdriver, I prefer such a flat one, you can simply push these little legs in and while pulling out gently the keyboard. Yeah, well, something like this, getting a hold of it, pushing it in and you see, first one is out already. So now the middle one and the last one are holding. Okay, pushing in the middle one just as well. Yeah, and the last one yeah, is so used up here. I've done this so many times that it let loose. And this is how you can remove the keyboard assembly. So it is stuck down here on a little cable and this you are simply freeing by taking for instance such a screwdriver and here in the ends are two little legs. You can just simply push them towards the keyboard, these two little legs, right? And now it is free and hop, it comes loose. The next thing you do with it is bath it in alcohol. And I mean that very literally. So here you see the EEE PC's keyboard removed and placed in a flat vessel that has been filled partly with nearly pure alcohol. And I am now pressing all of the keys on this keyboard in an attempt to sort of wash them and to thereby return them to being functional again. In particular, in the hope of removing any inside particles, like dissolving them with the alcohol and helping the whole process by mechanical strain. So this I'm going to do now for a while and then I'm going to let the whole thing dry on a heater, which should swiftly evaporate the alcohol, which upon I shall reinsert it in the unit. Now the keyboard has been washed and it is time to reattach it back into the unit. To this end we just make sure that both of those holder legs are out 
we are gently but also firmly pulling putting in pushing in the cable and fastening the holders so now the keyboard is you know holding fast we are reinserting first the three teeth down there and then we are clapping it shut onto the other part upper part and that's it the keyboard is now reattached to the unit and it is time to try it out back we are where we started because i had also disassembled the battery of course it forgot everything but if we just ask it to take the default values and continue it's doing absolutely fucking nothing because guess what this is just ha huh, it worked <laughs> whatever you call this okay so now turning on the netbook everything worked likely smoothly and perfectly as we would expect it but for some reason getting into this and for some reason the keyboard does not work at all Now, to aid the drying process, you might resort to a hair dryer and just simply go like this. I'm not sure this is a good idea or just the effect of the alcohol in the air, but I'm gonna do that now. The effect of using the hot hair dryer on the keyboard has been that the keys have melted. And the entire thing went to hell, which is somewhat unfortunate. And thus, ladies and gentlemen, the EEPC's keyboard still does not work. And my experiment has mainly turned it into a tool for target practice. I shall now remove the keyboard assembly, perhaps for the last time. And consider calmly whether it should be subjected to acts of aggression. To you, I very kindly thank for watching this unfortunate experiment. I hope nonetheless that you did enjoy it. I hope you shall join in soon again for further experiments. And with that, if you're not a subscriber yet, I would be very honored if you would consider joining our club. See you soon. And from me, goodbye.